Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of my amendment to the RAINS Act. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number eight, printed in part A of House Report number 118-108, offered by Mr. Good of Virginia. Pursuant to House Resolution 495, the gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Good, and a member opposed each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Virginia. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My amendment is a common sense one that I would hope that everyone could support. It would simply require Congress to do a review of all agency rules within a five-year period. If Congress did not vote to continue certain rules that are in place, then the rules would simply cease to exist. It puts the responsibility where it belongs on the people's elected representatives. The Washington regulatory state, we all know to be cumbersome. It's actually hurtful to the American businesses, families, and the American economy. By reigning in the regulatory state, we can allow Americans to live and operate in the economy the way they want to. Washington bureaucrats cannot, should not, tell my constituents in the Virginia's 5th District what they can and cannot do. The RAINS Act will hold the Biden administration accountable for all major rules they present. For far too long, Congress has let the executive branch run roughshod over Congress and the American people. Today, that ends. I urge all of my colleagues to support the amendment and the underlying bill, and I reserve. Gentleman reserves. Gentlemen, for what purpose does the gentleman from New York rest to be recognized? Mr. Chairman, I claim time in opposition. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, this amendment is unnecessary. Congress already has many ways to control agency rulemaking. We can delegate authority to agencies with specificity, thus limiting the scope of an agency's authority. We can impose restrictions on rulemaking through appropriations. We can influence rulemaking through oversight activities. And if all these measures fail, we also have the blunt tool of the Congressional Review Act. Therefore, we do not need the oversight the RAINS Act offers, but we also do not need to open the door to revising rules that have been in place for years. Doing so would create uncertainty for businesses who have adapted to rules that were passed years ago and continue in force. The current Congressional Review Act only allows Congress to roll back rules within a short time period. The CRA was drafted with a short period of view intentionally, and to open the door to reviewing years of rules would be a huge expansion of the CRA and it would create too much uncertainty for businesses, for businesses and for all other economic actors. For these reasons, I oppose this amendment. And I reserve. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman for, uh, from Virginia is recognized. Mr. Speaker, it's bad enough that we have unelected bureaucrats in the departments and the agencies making rules that oppress the American people, that suppress their freedom, that tell them how they can live, how they can heat their home, what kind of a car they can drive, and it goes on and on. And all this uh, amendment does is require Congress to take responsibility every five years to vote to retain a rule. If it's not worth voting on to retain, then it probably should not be retained. So I urge everyone to support this amendment, and I reserve. Gentleman reserves. Gentleman from New York is recognized. I'm prepared to close. Gentleman reserves. Gentleman from Virginia. Prepared to close also. Gentleman from Virginia is recognized. Gentleman from Virginia is recognized. Once again, I would hope that all members of Congress could agree to operate under their con constitutional responsibility for the laws that affect their, their constituents and Americans across the country, and I encourage all members to support this amendment. And I yield back. Gentleman from New York. Gentleman from New York. Mr. Chairman, the gentleman said that rules tell Americans what kind of cars they can drive. No, they do not. They do provide for the safety of the cars that Americans drive. They provide for all the safety mechanisms that must be in the cars. And again, Congress does not have the competence to know what safety mechanisms ought to be in the cars. That's why we have delegated rulemaking authority to agencies which have experts on how many parts, I keep using this example, how many parts per, arson, per billion of arsenic can be in the air, uh, what safety measures must be in a car, et cetera, et cetera. The RAINS Act violates this and is very dangerous to the American people. This amendment makes it even worse by essentially saying every rule has to be, in, has to be reviewed in five years by Congress. Congress can't possibly review all these rules. Uh, Therefore, this, this amendment will make Americans even less safe in many ways. 
and I oppose the amendment. I urge a no vote, and I yield back.